people are going to have to accept that simply moving folks out of, simple, out of some of the areas, that's going to be the solutions we're going to look for. For the second time in 14 years, people living in part of University City may get paid to move out of a notorious floodplain. For the first time that this happened was in 2008 after Hurricane Ike, and this summer historic flooding pushed the city to try buying the homes back. Only News 4's Melanie Johnson clues us in on the potential buyout. A neighborhood struggling to get back on its feet. Front yards filled with what used to be prized possessions flushed out of these university city homes from this summer's historic floodwaters. Well, I don't resent living in U City, uh, but I'm not pleased about my living condition right now. For 24 years, this has been Carol Horth's dream home. Now, She's starting from scratch. If it happened once, it can happen again. Rising waters from her next door neighbor, the River De Pair, is to blame. It's University City today. It's going to be some other jurisdiction tomorrow. Greg Rose is the city manager and says these condemned homes sitting along the floodplain need to go. You could look on a on a map and look at how the uh, River De Pair uh, traverses the city. Uh, and those are the homes that we would likely target. University City is looking to buy out at least 300 homes with a price tag of at least $40 million. Here on Wilson Avenue across from the River De Pair is just one of those locations that that could happen. And University City starting with buying people out of floodplains is a good start. The buyout plan now on the table after an Army Corps of Engineers and Metropolitan Sewer District study. MSD's CEO says it's the best option. It'd be nice if we could move everybody out of floodplains and put them in uh, appropriate places elsewhere in the district. MSD would find that to be the best solution. I'm kind of flabbergasted. I know that the people up on Wilson want it for sure. But Carol, a retired homeowner, says money talks. I would be willing to move, but only if I can get a fair price for my house. And oftentimes, I'm not sure there are fair prices that are offered in buyouts. The flood event that just happened at the end of July, that's uh, the prime example of, of why we need to, to take some sort of you know federal investment action. The Army Corps is working on a second solution. This dog park in Overland will be relocated to make room for a detention basin for River to Payer. The $14 million project will create an eight acre, 13 foot deep holding place for water in U City. But if the buyout does happen, this homeowner says it has to be worth every penny. I would be willing to go, but it has to be a reasonable price. The Army Corps of Engineers being brought in means federal money could be used for these potential buyouts. The city has to submit their application by September 11th, then wait for FEMA to approve or deny the request for help. Melanie Johnson, News 4. Melanie, thank you. Speaking of help, a 